Management is opening this so those returning home after several days without power have a place to properly throw out food. This includes meat, poultry, fish, eggs and other leftovers. Those who haven't returned yet are settling in for a third night away from their homes. Some are staying with friends and family members, others at the Red Cross shelter set up at the Lane Event Center. That's where KZI 9 News reporter Grace Smith met one woman who is thankful for help as she had nowhere to go. I'm sorry, I just, it's, it's been awesome. Dozens fleeing Oak Ridge and seeking shelter at the Lane Events Center because of the Cedar Creek fire. Three goats, two horses, six cats, and seven dogs here. Mavis Poss and her many animals had to evacuate their home, but had nowhere to go. There's not a hotel I could go to, you know, that would accept these. And uh, it's just opened my heart to what we can do when we come together is humanity. <laughs> this is where nearly a hundred animals are being taken care of. I've watched as many evacuees keep coming in to take care of their animals and many of them bring them outside for long walks. It is um, hopeful. Carrie Lieberman is the executive director of Green Hill Humane Society and is working around the clock to feed, care for, and house the animals brought in by evacuees. The comfort that we see um, in the people that come to us, knowing that their animals are well cared for, knowing that they are able to sleep at night um, and their animals are right next door to them. Um, and that they can come in and care for and hug on and love their animals at any time um, to receive comfort during this really stressful time. It's um, for us, it's it's a very heartwarming job. They're working alongside the Red Cross during this stressful time and are encouraging you to donate any supplies if you can. They're worried and anxious. I mean, nobody likes to leave their homes behind. Diana Mason is a volunteer with the Red Cross and says they're providing food, medicine and other needs to the evacuees. We have our shelter that we've been operating since Friday evening. Um, we have about 100 folks that we're helping here now, but other folks are coming in just for information. Mason says they'll be open 24 seven until there is no longer a need. Something Paz and many others will be forever grateful for. Thanks to Green Hill and I won't forget what you guys have done and also to Red Cross. Reporting in Eugene, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.